This is a Steadicam build for a GoPro Hero 3 with the LCD pack on the back. And it is, uh, the build is from the Frugal Filmmaker. I'll put a link in the description to his tutorial because that's fantastic. And that's where this was based. Uh, there's two differences. The first, this pipe cleaner, uh, serves two functions. One is to stabilize the actual joint itself because in between uh, on the metal arm of the Traxxas joint in between the ball and the plastic wall there's a little bit of space so both on the top and the bottom part of the arm I put the pipe cleaner in there and wrapped it around the metal arm in between the ball and the black plastic wall and uh, it seems to stabilize the play that's exist or that exists there and then the second is just for a subtle manipulation of the swivel. Right now it's not balanced. I was uh, messing with it on the table there, but you can see with just a little little nudge, you can give it a push left or right, or you can prevent it from swiveling. So if you're going around a corner and the momentum from your body forces the camera to continue to swivel, you can just give it a little bit of resistance and prevent that swiveling from happening. So you sort of kill two birds with one stone. And here is the gimbal. Uh, you can see it has black duct tape on two parts, um, which allows it to fit snugly into this CPVC adapter um, that just goes directly into the half-inch PVC tube. And obviously you can glue that for more stability. But back to the gimbal. Uh, two pieces of black tape. Uh, these washers, the main function, besides just putting a barrier in between the bearing and what's holding it in place, uh, is that this screw that I found, which does thread perfectly into the other side of the Traxxas joint, so I didn't have to worry about that, but I couldn't find the right length. So these washers, um, without them, the screw would protrude into the joint, which obviously we don't want. So that's their function. And then... Uh, just to show you here, you kind of put that in there, and it fits just fine, and you have your joint good to go. And here is our threaded rod, which I did use a grinder to take the top of a bolt off so that I could thread it nicely into there. Uh, you could also use a hacksaw or, you know, whatever sort of metal saw you have, uh, but it's the path I went. And just to show you this, this part will go on neatly over the threaded rod and you can uh, twist it into place just so that you know for sure you're going with the threading. And then at the bottom I just have two two inch washers. It was enough weight for me with the GoPro 3 and the LCD pack. And then at the top I don't have any weights, I just have this wing nut for really subtle adjustments and balancing. And uh, you can see the GoPro mount itself. To give you an idea of length, a uh, place you can start is choose a piece that will result in a one foot bottom arm. And the top arm measures about seven and a half inches if you measure from the inside of this elbow and eight inches if you measure from the outside of that elbow to the outside of this elbow. Obviously the piece itself is going to be shorter um, but mine's glued in there right now so I can't disassemble it to tell you the exact length. Also if you're interested look for another video of a very similar build with a Sony NX30 on top instead of the GoPro which is obviously much heavier than this. Balancing the heavier camera was significantly more challenging than the GoPro, so hopefully some of the things I did there will be helpful for you.